Hi, this is Peter at Stanford University, and I'm going to show you how to sign in to the Revs Digital Library website, and uh, just a couple of things you can do once you're signed in. So uh, if you're visiting the website, there's a sign in link at the top. Click that, and it'll ask you for your email or your username. You can enter either one here and your password. A reminder, if you are at Stanford University, if you're a Stanford user, um, you shouldn't use this. You can just click this login via web auth and you'll go through the usual SUNET ID password screen. And in fact, if you've already logged in once, you don't have to do it again. So that's pretty nice. Now, if you may have forgotten your password, there is a, there is a link over here. Click that. We'll ask you for your email address or your username and we will send you an email to the email ad address you used when you registered. And that, uh, that email will have some instructions on how to reset your password. Now, of course, if you do remember your username and password, just enter it here. So I'm going to enter in my email address and my password and sign in. Now, once I'm signed in, I'll see my username in the top bar here. So that has replaced the sign in and sign up links. And I can do a few things. If I click this, you'll see I have some links to my profile page, a way to change my password, and a way to look at what's called my dashboard. Now, a dashboard is going to have some information about what you've done on the site. So right now I haven't done much with this account, but if I did, it would show me uh, images I have saved as favorites, um, annotations I've made on images, uh, images I've flagged that need corrections, and uh, galleries. And I'll talk about these more in a future screencast. The other thing you can do here is we show you the actions again, changing your password or your email address. You can also update your profile which can do things like update your username. This is something that we will show publicly, publicly to other users when you do things like make annotations. And if you want, you can even enter in your, your real name here. You could enter in your Twitter account, a website, some information about yourself if you wanted. You can upload a picture. You can decide if when you save favorites, if they're going to be shown publicly or you're going to keep them private. And you can even decide if you want this entire profile page public or private. Now, by default, you'll see we keep we keep this private. But if you want to share this page with others, for example, if you're if you're uh, annotating and you want to have a page that users can go to to see everything, you can simply make your profile page public. Update, and you're done.